Okay, so let me go ahead. I got a, I got a story to tell real quick here. First of all, this big girl right here. She, oh my goodness, she's so big. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all had to see that. But anyway, um, this is blah blah right here. We had to bring him over here in the part of the yard where um, he doesn't belong. Her too. Let me just for let me show y'all how big this girl is. This is yeah. This is Bertha. Hi, Bertha. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh huh. Did y'all lock me in over there? Oh, you get out right here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back to y'all. Um, blah blah. Oh, you get right now. Okay. All right. Let me just try to come on around another way. Y'all need that right there? Yeah, that blue bucket. That's my chair. Okay. Hi, Bertha. So I was in the middle of a video, so I, I gotta, I gotta. Oh, yeah. Okay. You get time. Okay. Bertha is a big girl. I, I'm trying to show perspective of how big this girl is. She must have about three or four babies in there. And I wasn't trying to get all this on camera. I was just trying to, you know, blah, blah, doing this little sniff thing. But um, it is what it is. They're animals. But Bertha's a big girl. Look at her. And that's Thelma right there. But um, anyway, I wanted to tell the story of blah, blah, what he did yesterday. He, he's a bad boy. Remember I told you he's a bad boy. He got out yesterday afternoon, was it? Yep. And he was running up the highway. And so, um, he took off running. And so, I had to jump on my golf cart and go chasing him because I didn't have time to go get my husband out. I ain't want this big giant animal of ours to just get away and just be gone, right? And so I chased him up the road on the golf cart. <laughs> and I was praying. I said, Father, please don't let no big trucks or tractors or stuff come right now because I have to drive down off into the side somewhere because I'm not going to try to, um, you know, I'm not going to try to challenge them on the road at all, <laughs> you know. And plus, I didn't want Blah Blah to get hit. So it ended up happening. Get over here, Blah Blah. I'm talking about you. I'm not trying to get um, Bertha and Thelma on camera right now, although it's, it's cool. Hi, hi baby. Hi Bertha, see how big she is? She must have about three or four babies in there. Look at that. Come on, Blah Blah, get over here. Get over here. You know I'm talking about you. Anyway, look at this, she's a big girl. She is a big girl. You a big girl. Yes, that's mommy's big girl. You probably got a bunch of babies in there, don't you? Yes, I know. I know, Bertha. I know. I know, Bertha. You mommy's girl. Yeah, you're my girl. My jacket kind of look like you. Your fur, doesn't it? Although mine is fake. <laughs> fake wool. But you got the real deal. Get over here. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Anyway, we had to put them in the yard here. Uh, this is not a yard that belongs to them. We just kind of put junk over here until we're ready to deal with it like scrap wood and pieces of foam and pieces of plastic and stuff like that um, but they have to be over here for a minute because we're fixing their fence because blah blah there he keeps getting out and we've seen the breach um, this cheap fencing right here we had this you know in various areas um, in the yard and you know we were trying to trick ourselves into thinking no he, it couldn't be in those areas but he's leaping over this stuff so we got some much better uh, farm fencing uh, you live and you learn but uh, the fencing that we have been using for years um, it was the wrong stuff especially for trying to contain these kind of animals uh, we were using uh, cattle fencing not cattle panels cat cattle fencing or hog fencing or whatever they call they call it you know two different things depending on where you're getting it from uh, cattle or hog fencing but uh, there's a whole other fencing that you want to use for goats and sheep and uh, that is what we uh, have been putting up lately yes so blah blah is laying down over there yep yep I see you doing that little funny thing you do with your mouth hi hi Thelma hi Thelma Thelma is, she's a big girl too, but she's not as big as Bertha. Come here, sweetheart. When we first got them, they were so skittish. 
They were so skittish. We got them from the same breeder where we got Blah Blah. Um, we got Blah Blah last year. We got them this year. But Thelma, she's gotten used to us. She's a big girl, though. She's very intimidating, too. <laughs> very intimidating, even to Blah Blah. She's bigger than he is, you know, even when she's not pregnant. And so Blah Blah, he's, he's something else sometimes. Thelma gives him a run for, her, for, for his money when she doesn't want to, you know, be bothered. Blah blah, you know, he was going out of his mind trying to get to our goats at one time, and so Buster had to bust him up a little bit because he was, you know, trying to get the goats, and Buster wasn't having it. One time, um, Buster got with Blah blah so tough and so rough, he had him, he drew some blood, you know, and it was, it was tripped out. I mean, what can you do to break up these two big, wild, big, not wild, but big manly animals you know a big giant spotted goat versus um a big fat ram sheep who is in heat okay what do you do to break them up you know um of course we did um buster did his job in keeping him away from the goats but um sometimes he goes after them when these sheep don't want to be bothered and the sheep are like, look, we already pregnant, so you need to go on and get on away from here. <laughs> you know, he already got babies. So just go on and get, blah, blah, go on and get. Um, anyway, we're trying to get things done before it gets too late so that they can um, get back in their own area. Yeah, look at my big girl. Look at my big girl. Come here. Like I said, Thelma isn't as, um... come here, come here, Thelma. You can be nice, see? See Bertha? Your sister? They're sisters. They're about, um, I think the breeder said they're about a year and a half apart. But um, Bertha being the oldest, of course. And then you have Thelma there. Yeah, look at you, Thelma. Look at you. These are Gotland sheep, uh, by the way. And so, we're trying to see how many babies each of them are going to give us. Yeah, like I said, this is a big girl right here. Very big and very intimidating. Very big and intimidating, even to Blah Blah. Look at him panting over there. It's like you can't even turn your back on Blah Blah because he will, he, he'll come and get you. That's for sure. That's for sure. But anyway, I was talking about how we were, I had to chase him up the road and I had to pray that um, no vehicles came and thank y'all none did no vehicle showed up so um, he actually ran back up through the woods to uh, get back on the property here and so um, we were pretty much good there so we said it's time for us to divert from other things that we were doing and get over here and deal with the fence for blah blah because chasing him and dealing with him is a trip ain't it how many times have he rammed you? I want y'all to look at this here. This is a good lamb chop right here. Real good lamb chop. Well, she's a good big sheep now. So that's going to be chop. more like mutton because uh, she's past that lamb stage big time. <laughs> what do they call y'all when y'all look at? She's a big girl. Look at her. That's a lot of meat right there. This one right here. Yeah. She's why she's just bigger. Bertha's bigger. So anyway, um, Yahoo and the boys and my brother over there, they just put up a fence. They're gonna keep these big jokers in where they're supposed to be. So that they so we can stop chasing them up the road. I mean, again, blah blah, he is something else. He led the pack with getting the sheep out the other night. We were chasing them all up the road. Yeah, I'm sorry, not the the sheep, the goats. Yeah, blah blah was the sheep leading the goats astray. Ain't that something? He was the sheep leading the goats astray. And so this is about to. How you want to do it? Yeah, I think it's just the top. But we got to tie this bottom right here real tight, though. Well, the battery's about to go out. My brother, my husband, and my sons, okay. they're about to finish locking these in so they can come back in their area. And we will be done for the day. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Bertha? Hi, Bertha. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Yeah, it's real tight. What's funny is the other night, oh, 
battery's about to go, not the battery, but this camera only gives you 10 minutes.